Good afternoon, everybody, and welcome back to my channel. Shy Town Girl here, aka Elizabeth or Beth. I hope everyone is doing well today. It is a very sunny day here on the East Coast. It's about 48 degrees outside. We still have a ton of snow out there, so the sunshine looks wonderful when you're looking out the window, but the moment that you step outside, it is windy and just crazy out there. Anyways, I want to wish everyone a happy, happy St. Patrick's Day. If you celebrate St. Patrick's Day, hey, happy St. Patrick's Day to all of you. I have my green, and I have a green hair ribbon up here. Um, I am not Irish, but any time to celebrate, by all means, have a green beer. <laughs> Enjoy. Okay, I have a huge Dollar Tree haul. I don't think I'm going to get this all in one shot, so I'm probably going to end up doing a part one or part two or just doing separate videos because I don't want to flood a whole bunch of stuff on you at one time. And I do like to try to explain the items that I have. Um, hopefully, I don't over-explain them. Um, I hope I don't under-explain them. I'm trying to just get that perfect niche for everyone to get a chance to take a look at them because people watch on all different types of devices, and I want to try to be fair to everybody. Okay, Miss Clue is over here to my left. She is sporting two green um, bandanas today, a light green and a dark green in the spirit of St. Patrick's Day. And I see over in the corner that she has ripped off, yes, ripped off one of my socks from the laundry bin. And it happens to be green. <laughs> so I guess we're all in the spirit today. So let's get started. Okay, I don't even know where to begin because I have so much, so much. Okay, I'm going to start with, I thought these were hysterical. These are little pigs aren't little pigs look at this it is like um a tin okay here's his little bottom four feet and then there's his little piggy butt his little squirrely tail and there's the front view and what they are is they're canisters so you just pop it open now watch i'm gonna have a hard time getting this open so you just pop it open there's the top there's the bottom you put stuff in there and voila isn't that just precious how cute is that? And then they had this gold one, and then I found this rose gold one. Now I'm hoping you're gonna be able to see the difference in color. Same concept. There's his little face. He's so cute. That's just a sticker that comes right off. Same concept, he opens up. So this is rose gold, and this is the regular gold. So I think you can tell the difference on screen. I can see it on screen, so hopefully all of you can as well. So I thought those were so cute. I had to get them. Okay, I'm gonna go right into some makeup here because I found a ton of makeup. Let's start with the Kish, Kish. Kiss Nail Polishes. These are the Kiss Gel Nail Polishes. Anybody that does DT hauls or even shops knows that they always have a bunch of these coming out. This one is Peach Sorbet. Really pretty. And then this one is called Late Blush. Very mauve pinky color. So I'll hold the two together so you can see what they look like together. And these are 13 millimeters, which is basically 0.44 fluid ounces. This next one here is called Dream Fit. And that's in that pinky color right there. Very nice pastel pink. Very pretty. Let me turn it on the side there. Maybe that helps. This is called After Hour. This is another. It, I'm positive it's looking like red. It is not red. It is a mauve pink color. It is not red. And then there was, this one is Cloud Candy. And this is definitely blue. Turn it to the side. Blue. Okay, so I'm going to add those to my collection. I think I probably have like, wow, because I have nail polish things on the walls, racks. I'll have to show all of you if you're interested. Um, you probably, if, if I were to show all of you my room, you would go, there's no way that that woman at her age <laughs> has a room like this because my room probably looks like a teenager's room. <clears throat> Excuse me, I'm so sorry. Okay, I found some of the matte lipsticks by the LA Colors. 
I have to admit I'm a fan of matte lipsticks. Um, my daughter's a fan of matte lipsticks. I never really liked them very much, um, but then she used to wear them all the time. I'm sure she still does wear them all the time. My daughter lives out of state, so I don't really see her makeup collection as much anymore, but she's a pretty fanatic about her makeup. Um, but I do like the matte colors better. So I was really happy to find these, and I found several. So I don't know if I'm missing any or how many, but these are what I found. The first one here is called Kiss Kiss, and it is like a mauve type color. I'm going to bring it in nice and close for you. So it's like a mauve color. So here's what your package looks like. Again, it's matte, and for those of you that aren't sure what matte is, matte is just a dull version. I don't want to say dull like it's a bad thing. It just means there's not a lot of gloss in there. Okay, the next color is called Kiss Don't Tell. This is also another mauve type color. Let me hold up the first one I showed you so you can get an idea. So they almost look alike, but they're not. Let me bring them in a little bit closer. You can see that this one is lighter than the one over here. Okay, the other two I found were In the Mood. Now this one is dark. This is like a, a dark, I want to say red. It is red. It's like a ruby red, dark red. And the other one is called Date Night. And this one has more purple undertones, so it's more of a dark mauve. And that's what that one looks like. So there was four different ones um, that I came across. Again, I'm not sure how many there were. They were just on the rack. There was no display. So I, I'm clueless when it comes to that. Okay, I then found that little container that's out there floating around that looks like a cupcake and it does look like a little baby cupcake and it's a lip skins gloss and basically it says yummy natural flavor um it donates money to save skins for animals it's made by blamtastic it's made in the usa which i was happy to see that there's our flag right back there and um yeah i have to say probably a majority of us are getting this because of the little cute container and that's okay because when you empty this container out you absolutely can put something of your own in there if you choose to for packaging fashion nails i found some really pretty designs here okay these are done in blues let me see if i can get that glare off of there for you there we go so you have solid blue at the top and then you have white with blue flowers on the bottom. Super cute. This is like a mint green with gold dots. And then these, I just, oh my God, I had to get a couple packages of these. Look at these beautiful purples. Aren't they gorgeous? So pretty. So, so pretty. Okay, so that's gonna do it for like makeup type. Oh wait, I did find some makeup wipes. The Bolero, and this is in the English Rose Blossom. You get 30 to a package. The expiration date on these are November of 2019. That's a great expiration date. When you open the plastic top, just to make sure nobody's been in there, there's your seal of protection. It would help if I held it upright, wouldn't it? Durr, my bad. I did purchase of those because makeup wipes are awesome for all kinds of things not just removing makeup I use makeup wipes for all different types of things okay Crocs handy lighter I love these I use these all the time what I love about these because I do use a lot of candles in my home is a regular lighter which I don't happen to have one here with me right now a regular lighter like a Bic is about that big and then you have this size, which is medium, and then you have the regular long ones that you would use for light, lighting candles or fireplaces and things of barbecues. When you're lighting candles in your home, just for me, a small little Bic lighter never gets down inside the candle. You can never, here's just an example. Well, this is not a really good example, but say this was burnt down further and you're trying to get your Bic in there and you're burning your fingernails off or you're burning something off always burning your hand so what's nice about these are the medium size you just take it boom light it so simple and you don't need that gargantuan one so these are just perfect in my opinion they work great i use them all the time i have them in my drawers around through the house because like i said i do burn a lot of candles that was just my opinion on that specific lighter okay food items hers 
is basically a brand name out of Pennsylvania. And it is no different than Frito-Lay is back in Chicago. Same concept. What I saw with this bag was this bag is, a, is like a big, big bag. 4.25 ounce bag. This thing is packed. I mean, I can barely squish it. So these are just like regular Fritos. Yum. Fritos, yum. Especially Fritos with cheese dip. Yum. Like, you know, like I need it. Anyways. Laffy Taffy. Been around forever. This version is orange sorbet and lemon raspberry. Mm, lemon raspberry, yum. 4.2 ounce package. Made by Nestle. Been around forever. Cute little individual wrap pieces. Mm. What the hell, right? Ooh. Okay. Ooh, it smells good. I wish it was smell a vision. Okay, so here's your orange sorbet. Perfect for Easter baskets. Less than two weeks away. And then there's the raspberry. Mmm. Okay. Yum, yum. And of course, when I go, I always have to find something for Miss Kalua because if I didn't, she would be very upset because she ravels through every single bag when it comes through the door looking for something for her. And they did have the peanut butter dog flavor biscuits that she absolutely loves. So this will be a treat for her today for St. Patrick's Day. And this is 3.5 ounces. This is a big cookie. She loves this cookie. This is one of her faves. All right. I did come across some of these Rhonda Addison. I really didn't know who this is. I, I don't know who this is, but I thought this was adorable. So let me open this one up first here. The first of a design. Wow, these are sweet. Looks like this. Look at that cupcake. Yummy. It doesn't say how many you get in here but it is a notepad, all lined. Let me try to get that glare off. I'm not sure if you can quite see, and then you have a design on the bottom. Same thing on all the pages. So isn't that a beautiful notebook to put like by a phone or on just on a table in your home? They had another one in this design. What a cute little gift. And then they had this design. I'm not sure how many designs are out there, but these are the ones that I found. So sorry about, there we go. That took some of the glare off. And last but not least, this design. Aren't those sweet? You know, something like this with a, a little pack of pens or something, such a sweet gift for anybody. Who doesn't use paper? We all use paper. Everybody uses paper. And I'm sorry, but I didn't read the top where this says love is best. This one says love is sweet, but it's kind of covered up by that sticker. This says friendship isn't a big thing. It's a million little things. So that's a great one for friendship. And then this one says live in the sweet life. See it up there on the top? Live in the sweet life. Okay, so that's going to wrap it up because I have I have such a huge pile over here. Oy vey. But for me to keep going, I would run way over and I don't want to go too far over. So I'm going to pick up the rest of this later on. Until then, I will see you all later on again this afternoon. For any comments or questions, please down below. I am working on a list of all the questions that have been asked and I'm going to do some type of like a chit chat session. So stay tuned for that. And it's I think it's time for a giveaway. It's been a while. So until then, we'll see you all later. Thank you so much for watching. Until next time, have a wonderful afternoon, everyone. Bye.